what I did is I purchased a uh, some accessories. Today we're going to install our ram mount system in the canoe and uh, I'm just going to discuss a little bit why I choose ram and the reason starts right here in the Jeep. For many years this was my primary vehicle for all my hunting and fishing and outings in backcountry. This is the vehicle that took me there and for years I used the ram mount system which is I have fastened to the dash here for my GPS primarily and the ram mount system has proven itself for me and I've decided that I'm going to incorporate the ram mount system into my canoe uh, for camera and GPS other devices uh, I'm going to keep it to a minimum right now I'm going to use uh, I'm going to do a mounting system that is going to be primarily for the camera for you guys, so I can uh, show off what I do out there in the back country. So stay tuned for this video. And I'm gonna get rigged up in the shop. I'm gonna move the camera over. And I'm gonna discuss a little bit about the ram mount system and how I'm gonna use it. All right, let's go do this. Okay, so uh, the canoe is uh, set up that so back to the ram mount um, as I stated I like the ram mount I know it's a good product right here it is and what I did is I purchased a uh, some accessories now uh, as you can imagine ram mount is uh, has accessories beyond accessories every need you have from your action cam types of mounts and uh, the list goes on it's endless whatever you th can think of or cannot think of they have as far as accessories because they they tailor to everything from rod holders uh, all the way up to uh, larger size spheres for different weight ratings that can accommodate uh, the largest of uh, sonars and uh, laptops, you name it. But that's not how the direction I'm taking. I'm just uh, doing the, the average Joe kind of stuff. And it's all about fishing and having fun in the back country. So what I did is I purchased a plate. And this plate here is uh, solid aluminum, by the way. It's not... Uh, like the peel and stick that you generally get with action cameras solid aluminum so i'm going to mount this on one of my gunnels here or uh, twerf sorry and this will be just an addition i'm just going to do one today i'm most likely going to add another one but we'll do that later i only have one here today so we'll just install the one so first thing i'm going to set it up where i want it i'm going to pre-drill it comes with uh, some stainless steel screws and let's mount this thing. Okay, so I'm going to find a location that's good for me. I'm going to keep it off to one side. I'm probably going to add another one on the opposite side. That is my plan. with a sharpie he's gonna mark the three screw locations I prefer to pre-drill That way there you got less chances of blowouts, cracking your wood, or even if you have like a composite material, you know, that way there you can, you minimize the chances of damage that you don't want. So pre-drilling, very small drill bit, 
I'm using a, a 116 drill bit and uh, that'll be sufficient. I'm just going to go part way into the, the twerf. I'm not going to go right through it. It's a short screw. So we're going to move, let's move this down. Just snug. Don't overdo it on the torquing with the screwdriver. And yes, some people still use screwdrivers. Avoid using a drill to drive your screws in when you're dealing with smaller items like this. You'll have, you'll strip stuff. Okay, let's mount uh, a plate just to give an example. Okay, I got you in on a different angle here. Let's, uh, let's mount one of the action cam accessories. Now once that's on there, just like that, and it can be moved around any which way, like so. like that now the idea behind the uh, the ram mount is this sphere is a hard rubber and what happens is as you tighten down on the hard rubber with this clamping device that they have which is all uh, some kind of aluminum or at least a white metal or some alloy of some kind. There's no plastic parts here. Um, the base of the, some of these pieces are plastic, but the actual arm, like the actual arm, this piece here, you can get these in different lengths and they're not plastic. They're very, very sturdy. But the way they hold and is once you clamp down on the sphere because it's a hard rubber the sphere will distort in shape which means now the mount can't pivot or rotate it's stuck in that position because the sphere is no longer circular now i have used uh, plastic spheres this is not a ram product but i had these kicking around i forget how i got got them they were uh i think they were tips of uh, joysticks for hydraulic levers I think is where this came from and I use these with not a not a problem whatsoever but the actual ram mount products they're certainly a better quality okay let's do another setup and uh, I'm eager to put the camera on this mount and see how it looks and how it's gonna work out for me to videotape stuff while I'm out in the back country so there we have it. Have it set up with the camera. I can have it set up with my GPS. Maybe, like I said earlier, 
get another one I can put my GPS on the opposite side uh, Ram mount also offers a lot of angling accessories such as rod holders similar to this this is a Scotty brand I use this guy on, on my other boat I'm not big on this guy here he's actually quite big and cumbersome doesn't seem like it right now because this is just a headpiece but once you add the arm and the bracketry it's quite big and cumbersome I use the yak catcher I really like my yak catcher because I can I can adjust them like that and slide them up and down the gunnel he just simply clips them and he accommodates bait caster and uh, spin cast rods I'm still partial to this guy but you never know I may open up the possibility there and uh, go with ram mounts for a fishing rod holder as well in any case it really is a good system and uh, this is something you if you're looking to accessorize your canoe perhaps this is something you would be interested in I hope you found this fun and informative and uh, time for me to go hit the back country they're calling for better, for good weather tomorrow so I'm gonna go test this thing out tomorrow see you on the next one